Can you afford a workers' compensation attorney? We're talking about that right now. Hi, I'm Naomi from Gonzalez Law, empowering Californians through legal education. So can you afford an attorney to help you with your workers' compensation case? The answer is yes you can afford an attorney. And the reason for that is all the money that your attorney receives comes directly from the insurance company, not from you. But what are those fees and where does the insurance company get the money for those fees? Well, let's talk about that. In California, workers' compensation attorneys can get paid a total of three ways. The first one is not that common, so we don't talk about it that often, but it's if you are in a position where you are eligible for temporary disability benefits, but the insurance company is not paying them for whatever reason. Now your attorney has to file for expedited hearing and set the issue for trial. Well, at that point, once the attorney files for the hearing and starts to go towards trial, they would be entitled to a percentage of those retroactive fees for temporary disability. So those fees will be paid by the insurance company, but they're coming out of the portion of what your temporary disability was. However, this is only retroactive temporary disability benefits. So for example, so let's say it's about three months from when they stopped paying you until you got a judge to say that you are eligible. Well, those are three months worth of benefits that your attorney will get a percentage of, but it does not mean that their attorney is gonna get going forward percentages of your temporary disability, only that retroactive amount that they were fighting over. The second way attorneys get paid is if you have a deposition. In California, the labor laws are written so that you have the right to have an attorney present with you for a worker's compensation deposition. So for that deposition, your attorney is going to be sending their bill, their one-time appearance bill directly to the insurance company for reimbursement. Now that does not come out of your money or out of your settlement or anything like that. That cost is eaten up by the insurance company. The third way attorneys get paid is the most common way that people think of. It's on contingency and they get paid at the time your case closes. Percentage right now in California, the industry rate is around 15%. However, that is starting to change. Some people are starting to do 18%, but either one, 15 or 18, that is about what the norm is. It should not be over that in California right now. And the way that that works, to make the numbers easy, let's say we settled for $100. Then the insurance company would be giving you a check for $85 and it would give your attorney a separate check for $15. So it's not like your attorney gets paid and pay you or you get paid and pay your attorney. Instead, you two just get your separate checks from the insurance company. So again, all money that your attorney receives come directly from the insurance company, not from you. So paying for an attorney should not be a reason to keep you from hiring an attorney. But I realized there are a ton of other considerations when deciding if you need an attorney for your workers' compensation case. So to explore those, look at this video right here. And if you would like to talk to us about your case, text us console and we'll be very happy to talk to you. And don't forget to press like so more people can be empowered. Thank you. Bye.